Hey everybody, Werewitch back here with another quick tip on water collection. Fluids! Everybody needs them, gotta stay hydrated. I'm gonna show you a couple different methods. Uh, we're right over by where the machete location is currently at. And down here on the beach. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that right there. This is where we collect our turtle shells at. There's a couple different locations down this beach. Uh, the turtles also spawn over here. Sometimes you can get eggs, too. Um, looks like somebody's already been collecting some turtle shells. There's one right there. Normally there's one crawling on the beach right here. I don't know why there isn't right now. That's strange. It's all right, though. We're doing all right. We've got one there. If you go further down this beach, there is a small camp. I'm kind of pointing my spear right now, right at the location of where it's at over here. We'll run real fast. We'll see what they've got over there. Then we're going to meet back up at the camp and I will show you a how to make a rain collector and what we use for our water storage as well during winter when those rain collectors are frozen and you're desperate to wet your whistle. Let's see here. Looks like there's a turtle right there. Hello, buddy. We're going to leave him. There's no reason to hurt him. Oh, looks like we got a little finger blaster over there. We're going to leave him. But as you can see, there's also some turtle shells over here. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, you'd be able to get your fill. This is not a bad area, too, if you're looking for uh, items. You can grab those up while you're here. But that is not what this video is about. Give me that rope. All right, going to meet you back at the camp. Okay, we are back at the base. Let's get this rain collector built. You're going to want to get into your build book. Set that bad boy down. Fill it in with the sticks. Required. One turtle shell. And it is as simple as that. Now, a cool thing about the rain collectors is that if you have an empty cooking pot, pan, whatever you want to call it, on you, as you can see, you can scoop clean water out of these with it. Um, also, if you have a 3D printed canteen, you can do the same here. And that's, uh, that's pretty helpful. It's nice to get clean water directly rather than having to uh, boil it first. Okay. So, uh, another method is what we were just talking about. You can scoop water out from any water source. Uh, we're right here on a lake that does not freeze in the winter so it's always nice we take it we bring it over here after we get our pan filled and we throw it on the fire hover over that cog as you can see the clean water uh, recipe is uh, highlighted and you just left click and it gets to work now when that's finished what we like to do is take our clean water and we store it over here on these shelves so all clean water over here and we keep our dirty water over here and that way it's always good to go nice to have in the winter time um, this would work even if you didn't have a lake if a lake froze up uh, you might be able to um, still store enough water to get you through but uh, it, it would take a lot anyway I hope this helped you uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And uh, thank you for watching.